Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my How to Code PHP tutorial. It's a complete tutorial on how to write PHP programs, currently up to Part 7, and can become as big as you want based off of your comments. PHP is a programming language that allows you to process and react to user actions on your website, while JavaScript allows you to process actions directly on a visitor's computer. PHP requires that actions are processed on the server in which your website resides. PHP is most commonly used to access databases on the server that hosts your website. Please watch my SQL tutorial before viewing this video or you may get lost. This tutorial will cover most all you can accomplish with PHP, but will very specifically cover how to interact with a database with PHP. You can embed PHP code directly in your web pages by surrounding the code with an opening, less than sign, followed by a question mark and PHP, and a closing tag that looks like this. You also want to give your web page the PHP extension .php, when you embed PHP code in a web page. You define variables, storage areas with a defined name, by starting the name with a dollar sign and then a name. The first character following the dollar sign must be a letter or an underscore. Thereafter, you can use a series of letters, numbers, or underscores. It is also considered good for you to separate multiple words in a variable name with underscores. Here are some examples of different variable names. First off, you have the text for output, definitely a viable variable name. Then you have some stuff. First off, there's no dollar sign at the beginning of this, and there's also a space. Spaces are not allowed. You have another valid variable name. Here we have a bad variable name because you cannot start a variable with a number. And also, this is bad just on its own because it's not descriptive. You can assign values to the newly created variable with the equals operator, as I have here. And if you want to define a variable with a value that will never change, being a constant variable, you would do that with the define function, as I show here, where we are defining the value of pi. You can easily output text to a web page by using the echo or print functions, and here are some examples. You can see here I'm using the echo function to output to the screen this text brought to you by the echo function. And I'm doing something similar here with the print function. So what's the difference between single versus double quotes? Well, you can use single or double quotes with both of the functions, echo and print, but the data contained between them is handled completely differently. With single quotes are used when you want exactly what is typed to be displayed. If you place a variable within single quotes, the name and not the value of the variable will be displayed. For example, if I would put show variable value and then I show this variable which is dollar sign some number inside of single quotes, what would be printed out to the screen would be the dollar sign followed by some number, not the actual value of the variable. Also, single quotes ignore escape characters, which I'll describe in a moment. Double quotes don't blindly print what is within them. Echo show variable value some number in this instance would print 3.14. When double quotes are used, variables are spotted and their values automatically replace them before they are printed to the screen. Double quotes also pay attention to escape characters. Sometimes you're going to want to echo text to a screen that is protected. If you want to echo a quote to the screen, you may confuse the browser if you place that quote between two other quotes. The browser won't know when your text block ends. So how do you use those protected characters? You follow them with a backslash. Here is a list of some protected or escaped characters. Now you can place these protected characters in your double quoted strings for use with the echo and print functions. Just remember, these only work when you use double quotes. It is a very good idea to start your code with a full description of what the program does. You should then follow up by writing comments that describe each function and any statements you might find confusing a year from now. This is so that you and others will be able to easily jump in years later to make any changes that are needed. Believe me, there will be changes and you will forget. You can comment out notes on your code for a full line by preceding the comment with two forward slashes. If you need to make a multi-line comment, start off with a forward slash and then a star and end the comment with a star forward slash. You can also comment out a single line with the pound symbol, but this isn't often used. Just so you are aware, you create comments in HTML with a starting 
less than sign followed by an exclamation point, two dashes, and end it with two dashes and a greater than sign. For a full tutorial on HTML, see my other HTML tutorial. Strings are just a quoted chunk of letters, numbers, punctuation, and white space. The information you were outputting to the screen with the echo and print functions were strings. You create and assign strings to variables with the equals operator. You can join two strings with the dot operator like this. As you can see here, I am combining the string windows followed by bricks and assigning it to the string variable house. House is now going to be equal to that. And here, location is equal to Chicago, Illinois, if that was the value of the variable city and state. If you want to find the number of characters in a string, you can use the string length function. Characters in a string, in this example here, would return 17, the number of characters in Chicago, Illinois, including white space and punctuation. I'll show you some other useful string functions later. There are numerous functions you can use to work with numbers in PHP. You define them in the same way as other variables. For this instance, I am defining pi. You can also perform these basic operations on them. Of course, we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. We have modulus, which returns the remainder of a division. We have increment, which is a shorthand way to add one to a value. And we have decrement, a shorthand way to subtract one from a value. This statement would add the value of stuff to the value of dog and assign it to the variable stuff. And in the second example, this statement would subtract the value of dog from the value of stuff and assign it to the variable stuff. That's all I'm able to cover in part one of my How to Code PHP tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Come back next time for math functions, arrays, if statements, conditional, and logical operators. Till next time.